Hi, my name is Nana Stefanovski and welcome to another episode of Around the Cup in 90 Days. Today, in the first half, we will show you how football pitches, and in particular those in Qatar, are maintained and just how much effort it takes to get them looking as beautiful as they do. In the second half, we will cast a glance at some of the most eccentric or unusual managers at FIFA World Cups. Some of the many technologies to be used for pitch maintenance include vacuum and ventilation systems, hybrid pitch stitching, and artificial grow lights. Qatar 2022 has significantly raised the bar in the pitch maintenance due to its unique challenge of high temperatures. For example, they use different technologies and exposure to grow lights for areas that are in the shade, those in the sun, and those in between. The same care goes into maintaining the training pitches as they are used more often. These pitches are of the standard that clubs provide and big advantage in Qatar is that they have two pitches at each training site to spread the wear. This will be the first time that both vacuum and ventilation systems and pitch stitching have been incorporated into all eight stadiums. These are likely to be the best maintained pitches at any FIFA World Cup to date. Carlos Bilardo led Argentina to their 1986 World Cup triumph, but on the way he banned Maradona and co from eating chicken, as well as forcing them to take cabs when the team bus wasn't of service. Frenchman Raymond Dominic responded to being knocked out of the Euro 2008 by proposing to his girlfriend on the pitch. In love with astrology, he absurdly ended Roberto Pires' international career due to his lack of trust for Scorpios. Spaniard Luis Aragones was not one you wanted to mess with. From causing a spectacle in Dortmund at the 2006 World Cup due to his dislike of the color yellow, to confronting fans in the parking lot and sending players with broken bones back on the pitch, Aragones was as eccentric as they come. Welcome to our Extra Time Trivia. If you know the answer to the following question, go ahead and type it in the comment section and stay tuned for the answer. Thank you for watching another episode of Around the Cup in 90 Days and stay tuned for daily updates on everything to do with the World Cup. Please like, share and subscribe if you like what we do and I hope we see you again tomorrow.